Jay, welcome to the Mac Mac Podcast. Welcome back. back. My name's Jake the Jenner, and to my left, this week in order of the man with the most black t-shirts, it's my little brother, Joe. Yeah, I just prefer black. Black is a classic look, you can't beat it, it goes with everything. I have, love it. Have love you it. ever not worn a black shirt on the pod? I, I wore the purple one once and I wore fancy. a stripy like brown one once. Just for the big Ooh, occasions, yeah. for those fancy occasions. To my right, coming in at six foot one, as he does each and every week. It's the baby brother. We call him Junior Boy. How are you, sir? I've gone with a black and yellow nut. Tonight, I've taken inspiration from Joe and from Jay. And I'm feeling fresh. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a mesh between the two of us. I've gone, the, I've gone the white. Jake's gone fancy. White though. and yellow, and Joe's gone the heavy black. Boys, we have a massive episode on the podcast. We're going to discuss hoodies and sweaters. Riley, you've got another story from your time out at Metro. We've got a sweating every day here, and guess what? We play Oh Hi Mark. Let's get into it. Boys, welcome to episode 34 of the MacPack Podcast, the Paul Medhurst special. We've finally done it. Medi. Very exciting indeed. Hursty. Do you know who Hursty. Paul Medhurst is? Paul Medhurst used to play for the Dockers and then he went to go play for Collingwood. Footy boy. Which Tick. was a definitive Footy. moment in a uh, young Jake's development of life. Paul Medhurst was my favourite player growing up. Number 34 for the Fremantle Dockers. Cool number. Uh, he was traded to the Collingwood Magpies. I went along with him and we've never really looked, never looked back. back. Bravo. Um, so shout out to Paul Medhurst. He's a big fan of the show. He texted me yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he felt the gags from last week. Oh, good. Uh, oh, so speaking of footy, while we're on the topic, Benny Cousins. He's back. He's, he is back. He's back playing footy. He's just down, I think he was down at like Queen's Park. And that's in Perth yeah, somewhere. No, Surely like, everybody knows Ben Cousins, even if you're not a footy fan. Yeah, I think everyone's rooting for him, which is good. He's I think got, so, yeah. He's got quite a tail. He's been through quite the struggle. Um, everyone was big on potting him back when like... It's a very Australian thing to do when like people are at their best. Yeah, everyone's like yeah. happy to happy to like kick the boot in and try and bring him down. Um, and now that he's struggled to the point where like I don't think we've seen an elite sportsman hit yeah. that level of like low. Yeah, and now everyone's like, nah, like come That's on, enough, come on, big fella. We love it. an underdog. We were just making sure he was under enough to be <laughs> yeah. to come back up. We're super excited. He's back running around on the footy field. He, he looks, looks healthy. Good, yeah. he Where's looks- he playing? He looks good. He was down at Queen's Park. So is that like oh. just a men's? Oh, okay. Domestic, yeah, I'd like. imagine that's just like um, oh. vets. Surely footy. he Get was just him. chopping up. You know, imagine so matching up on him. Imagine someone like me matching up on just like barely being able to stand or like we're run getting, straight lines. Getting with autographs? These, with these. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like. <laughs> he looked buff. He looked like quite yeah, looked, match he's, fit. He's been in the gym. Big. Yeah, good on him. Good Working on him on for himself. being back. Yeah, it's good to see. We're, we're not Eagles fans. In fact, we really dislike the Eagles, but. We like a good redemption story. And yeah. I think Ben, hopefully, will provide um, the whole of Perth with a bit of a redemption story. So, Speaking shout out to the big man himself. Speaking of heroic sportsmen, Jake, why are you wearing the jersey tonight? Yeah, we're in the Kobe Bean brain kit tonight. Um, Kobe was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Um, what well, was yesterday when we are recording, which was Bravo. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday um, last week. Very exciting for him and his family mm, yeah. um, had his wife Vanessa yeah, get up there and give she a speech. She gave a really good speech. And Michael Jordan ushered her up there. Like if you, if you got to strip it back, I was thinking this on the way to work today. As like a young boy, Kobe's entered the league at seventeen. Yeah, he's fuck that. Obviously <laughs> idolized Michael Jordan. Fast forward to however many years down the track we're at now. You would take that any day of the week. Like that is, you've achieved basically everything you could achieve to the point where your idol, the man that you replicated basically your entire game over, yeah, um, literally, is literally standing up at the Hall of Fame on your behalf, giving, well, like basically being there for the speech. Yeah. You strip that back to when you're 17. Like that is, you couldn't write that sort of it's stuff. The dream, yeah, bravo. Yeah. And that does happen a fair bit in life. It, you sort of don't notice the things that you achieve until you stop prep and then look back and go, would I, when I started my journey or like a year ago, two years ago, would I look at this position and be like, oh fuck, like you've fucking, you've done it. That's what we're going to be doing with the MacPack podcast. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully in a couple of years, we look back at this point in time and go, yeah, we did it. We, we did well. I saw this funny video of, cause like when like big stuff happens in the news, there are always like these archival like interviews and shit that yeah. come out. And there was one with Alan Iverson, another mm-hmm. professional basketball player, who he said the one night he was at dinner with Kobe. And then Kobe was like, oh, what are you doing after dinner? Like when they were leaving. 
And Alan Iverson was like, yeah, going to the clubs, you know how it is. And then he was like, where are you going? Kobe was like, gym. Yeah. yeah. They were the same dra- draft class as well. Dream team. Alan Iverson went first overall in the 96 draft. Where did Kobe go? I think s- late. Real? I think, is that seven, because he was I think so young? seven overall. Oh, true. He would have been like skinny ass. Yeah, super, yeah, super young. Um, Big week for the sportsman. Massive. Huge. Massive indeed. Massive week. And you know who else? Who had a big week? Me. Joey! <laughs> Andrew had a big week. And you got a big job, boy. <laughs> Fuck, that's loud. Not bad. <laughs> no, it was a great week, actually. What can I say? So basically, the what, week started what, well. What did you get up to? Come on, mate. Don't be shy now. Yeah, Don't bro. be shy. Come You're on. You're walking in the shadows of these heroes. But ben Cousins, so, Kirby Bryant. Joey. <laughs> <laughs> the big three. So you were saying how like a young sportsman eventually becomes... One of the one of the greats, yep. one of the peers, yeah, yep. peers of the idols. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you realize your idols are a bit more like you. So I went to get my cu- my <laughs> 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 I went to get my flu vax. Hell yeah! Oh, so good. we got, got it done at work. Um, so you know everyone was sort of getting it done. Bit of excitement, you know how it is. It's a big day. We're getting a flu vax. Hell yeah! So I go <laughs> is in there. Anyone else excited, or is just you? Just got just man. woo. Hey, you got to take 15 minutes to relax after you get it to make sure that you're not having a bad reaction. So this is during the work? This yeah, is during so your shift. mine was at 2.02. You getting paid for this? 2.02. Yeah, it was at 2.02. Why was this? There are three-minute intervals. Very strange. Oh, we want to type fucking shit, okay? Yeah, apparently so. So we're sitting there. There was me um, and then the two guys who were going after me. Fake names? Um, no, I'm not saying their names. <laughs> and then one of, the, <laughs> one of the big bosses was in there getting his done. And he Fake come, name? Uh, no, no name, no names at all. <laughs> These are all unnamed people. Quite frankly, they're all fictional. Right? <laughs> if anyone asks, yeah. so basically, he comes out. He's yeah, he's one of the big bosses of the company. Yep. He comes out. Yep. He's got his you know he's got his little bag, and he's also holding his hand a lollipop. Hell yeah! How old is this man? Um, fifty probably. Probably yeah. 50. middle aged man. Maybe big like big day for him. He came out. He's holding his ball bag and he's got a lollipop. He's holding his lollipop yeah. and he looks so happy. He looks like oh. One of the happiest I've ever seen. And this is like, a, he's a happy guy. And then the one of the guys sitting next to me is like, oh, good to see you got your lolly felt. And he's like, yeah, this is the fifth time I've gone today. <laughs> actually? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually. Oh, he he's doing gags. He's a comedian as well. And then, yeah, I went in next. Got my thing. Did you get a lollipop? There's just a bag of lollipops there. As if they're giving them out. It was great. And then you come up onto the floor. That's everyone's so just like, no. Like, <laughs> are you coming to the, you coming to the 2.30 <laughs> meeting? Ah. It's the Rugrats. You literally it work at great. the Rugrats yeah. building. And then You're at Nickelodeon. So oh, yeah. The next day, my arm was still quite sore. It didn't hurt, like, not, not to brag, but it didn't hurt when I got it. Did you guys, like, throw punches at each other's Tough arm? Like we did no. <laughs> that would be fucking that funny. pretty though. high school. That. <laughs> that is so... Oh, worst type of people, those people. Just so those, those just days, you, go, you out. just, like, milking it. You know, you have to have the rest time. Yeah. You're just, like, lying down oh, on the yeah. mat. Oh, yeah. You're there for a period three and four. I'm not feeling great. Bloody hell. I'm going to lie here. The nurse is like... Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even had a needle yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that was funny because obviously, like, no one likes needles, but they'd always uh, be like. Train spotting, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's like. I remember, like, kids, like, fainting, like, in your seven. Yeah. We're going to get our tetanus shot. You used to always, there used to always be, like, a, a handful of chicks who used to go, like, a stark color, like, a white. Yeah. Like, real ghostly, like, mm. nah, not, not about this. It's always fun for, like, the lads who don't care. They're just like, yeah. fucking no, we get to miss out on a bit of science. Let's come and get jabs. Get a jab. And then sit in this room with all my homeroom. Yeah, is, is that someone's full-time job? Just like... A needle person. Yeah. Probably. Because like, everyone... think about every yeah, school... What are they called? Phlebotomists? I think that's right. Phlebotomist. A phlebotomist? It sounds like a fake word. I reckon An immunologist? Right. I think we're just throwing around fakies. I don't know. No, a phlebotomist might be taking but. Maybe. <laughs> oh, never know. Um, then, so we're in there the next day. My arm was hurting quite a bit. Like, it, it hurt afterwards more than it did when I had it done. Yeah. And I was sitting there like, fuck, like my arm is really hurting, but I don't want to like... Because everyone else got it done. Bitch. You don't want to be the one. <laughs> and then I heard one of the managers going like, man, like, I was fine yesterday, but my arm is like hurting. And I was like... Did you like, run over and punch her in the arm? <laughs> I was like, yeah, like my arm is hurting as well. And then she's like, oh, okay, that's not bad. I'm like, at least we got our lollipops. And then she's like, I didn't get a fucking lollipop. <laughs> What? She's like, what do you mean you got a lollipop? I'm like, there was a big bag of them. And I was like, she's like, no. And then someone else was like, I thought that was a joke. <laughs> what, the bag, <laughs> yeah, of, the bag of lollipops? The bag of just a gag. Fair enough. What other people, like, surely that can't be just someone's job. Because you would have probably had, who did you have given you? A nurse. That nah, would be their job. It's like full time. They're just driving around to different places giving well, probably, people needles. Yeah, they're probably giving needles like in hospitals and stuff. 
Probably but like well. they're out in the road, like they're going to schools, they're going to primary schools, high schools, and then like to corporates. It'd be a bit, a bit fucking weird. Like realistically, you're just basically dishing out pain to people. You're saving lives. Fact. Oh yeah. Speaking of dishing out pain, I went to the dentist. Oh yeah. And I need. I tell you, you going tomorrow. Yeah, fucking. Oh, so another thing about the dentist. So right? you brush your teeth more than anyone. Like, uh, no, he doesn't. I don't brush floss teeth. enough though. No, but she said, she said Gross. that tooth is shaped weirdly and it's hard to get to. They're all shaped. Weirdly. Not my fault. Due to all those lollipops you've been biting. But basically, I'm sitting there. I'm watching Netflix. You know how it is on the on the ceiling. Yeah, we have our, a yeah. Our dentist. I, love, I think we've mentioned our yeah, dentist. We definitely have. Yeah, I love. I love telling people like, oh, we got to pick what show I'm watching to go to the dentist. Such a flex. <laughs> yeah, anyway, she, I like, I didn't realize how big the painkiller needles are. Oh yeah, they're fucking they're massive. Because yeah, yeah. normally I won't look, but like I got as long three. as your forearm. And I got three. three on. How deep do they go? There's like three people that have to like hold them. The one chick in the middle just like pushing yeah. the needle up because the bow's in the middle. It's that long. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> and it's like, so I take a while to go numb, and then like after the second one, she's like. Do you still feel this? She's like poking in my mouth. I'm like, yeah, I can still feel it. And she's like, oh, I'll just give you another one, which was fine at the time. But then afterwards, You're just, she was like, game over. how are you feeling? I'm like, oh. I'm like, fuck. And then I, I was driving <laughs> home. Uh-oh. Passed out. No, like, just, like, just the amount of numbness. I was driving home and I was like touching my face and I like, couldn't feel it. That's so weird. And then that. it was like, while I was driving home, I was touching my face. Could, but I knew, you know, like, I knew that it, I should feel something, but I couldn't. Yeah. And then my face started to itch. And, like, I couldn't scratch it because my face was numb. Yeah. But it's, like, because I was touching it, my brain knew, like, it was like no, this is, like, an itch thing. It was like your skin was itchy, but you had, like, gum and your jaw were numb. Is that what you meant? No, the skin was numb as well. But it is a weird thing. It's, it's like, like my brain was, like, this part itches, but my this part was, like, I can't feel it. Oh. So I was trying to scratch. And that's I real just, damaging. I can do something. Yeah, because yeah. that's the thing. I was, like... I started like getting home and probably. my face is just gone. Like, how was the dentist? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hemorrhaging blood. <laughs> Boy, so I returned to Metro's on Saturday night. Woo! You're home away from home. You, we said the other day, we were like, you haven't not been to Metro's on a weekend out. And you were like, no, I haven't. I, I didn't go once. I was like, no, no, there was a statewide yeah. lockdown on. And you were like, I don't know what <laughs> but nevertheless, I turned. Will you be there again this weekend? Yep. And I'm pretty Big! I'm pretty comfortable with it now. I uh, know. <laughs> I know what's happening. No where hey, anything is. This is my first rodeo. This is my second rodeo. This is, this my, is my third <laughs> rodeo. Rodeo. <laughs> rodeo drive. I reckon if you go this weekend, I reckon if I went with you this weekend, we would have like been we'll, there the same. Yeah, we'll draw for the amount of times we've been into that. They always run hell hole. <laughs> if they have the same bits. Like everyone who's listening that goes to Metro's. That Lion King bit they do, literally. What, the music? Yeah, and they hold up like the baby, like Teddy Simbas. Literally, they do it like every time, every yeah, Saturday yeah. night. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, I understand the premise, but I've never seen it. Well, every time. I've been I think there. the last time I went would have been 2007. I think, right? They might just, you know, the DJ? Same, same, same songs same everywhere. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> I reckon it's kind of cool because, like, you know what you're gonna yeah, do. Yeah, you're, you're like, like this again. You know the run shit. It's, yeah, yeah. It'd be like, like, like no, I'm no, gonna no. grab a drink now because then other sexy backs coming on. And <laughs> yeah. Uh No, there's they're playing Britney in the other room. <laughs> I'm gonna be back. Fact. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I kind of like know the deal, right? <laughs> <laughs> Memorize the playlist. <laughs> got, and metros me, sorted. And me and my mate were like getting a few shots from time to time. Hell yeah! What do you, yeah, what do you drink when from you go each out? other or from? Some, I don't want to say the name of the shop because I disagree with the name of the shop, but it's. A WP, <laughs> boy oh boy, and um, so, and we're getting what's a, in that? It's literally, I think it, it is what it says I on the tin. <laughs> <laughs> it I, is what it says on the tin. All right. I asked the um <laughs> secret actually, ingredient. Oh I actually asked the bartender that. Uh oh, and she was like, "It's a secret," and I was like. And then she reached down. Oh, oh no! Play on, play on, Jesus! Um, play on. Anyway, to the bar to get the vodka to put in the. If you're enjoying this week's episode of the podcast, the best thing that you can do to show us a little bit of support is to share it with your mates. Whether it's a, a story on Instagram, Ooh. a private message to a pal, a DM. 
slide into those DMs, do whatever you need be. Or even just like message your mum and be like, these guys, they swear a lot, but like... I prefer Gmail as they, well. They Gmail mean, yeah, Gmail is good. Gmail is good. It's slow. Like it's a very slow and formal I way. I click on any link I get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, so yeah, chuck it on your Instagram story or send it to a mate. But whatever you do, we just want to grow this little baby pack. Fantastic. And then every week you can chat about the pack with your pack. There you go. Exactly. Less, less from you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, right, so I know the deer, right? And we were going like, oh we, <laughs> we only got like two, maybe three, sh- two th- shots, right? And then like on the second time we went, I was like, I'm going to piss first, then we'll go get them. Yeah. Yep. Empty the tank, then refill it, right? <laughs> so when I was going to empty the tank, he like tapped me on the shoulder and he's like, I'll be at the bar. Who is this? Uh, mate from Aquinas. You don't know him. Oh, I right. got friends with my other school and <laughs> Ritzy boys as well. He um tapped me on the shoulder, and as I was turning back around, I was on the downstairs toilets. I noticed there was a little hole in the wall that I'd never seen before. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> a little fucking dishwash, like a um, little fucking dry was... cleaning hole. Like, what's like, what what's, what's the um? We've all we're all thinking. What? Yeah. what, <laughs> what, a, what a, <laughs> no, <laughs> we need to keep this PG. It's um, not going well. The <laughs> what do you a call it? Dr- the clothes dryer, a clothes dryer door yeah. that has like a little hook handle, and then it's just like in the middle of the door. Where like, are on, on a wall on the downstairs toilets? And I was like, I've been here many a time, and I have not <laughs> seen that. Twice. And he was like, yeah. he'd, he's been 18 for a few months. And he, he was like, I've never seen that either. Let's go in there and get some WPSs. <laughs> yeah. And you literally have to open it. And it's like a meter up. So you have to like low key climb through it. And then we shut it again. And there's like no one in there. And it's just like low key. And it's just like. What's in there? Oh, it's a private room. It's a bar with seats a and like. Room. Like they do it. Um, it's crazy. What's it called? The other place in Freer? And Arbor. Yeah, yeah. There's a secret room there. And yeah. when we were coming out and of it... And a few secret windows, which we watched <laughs> about this week. Play when, off! When we were coming out of it, like, there were other blokes who were like, what the... F-? And they were like, old, old blokes. They were like, oh, they the never f- is, this is this in the place? toilet? No, no, no. It's like it's near like, the toilet. Like, yeah. you know, like, the ma- ma- males there, females, like, around the corner. Just there. It's just the little, like, room. But then I found... Then I was, like, looking around when I was in there, and I was like, it's literally just, like, a back door. It's just, like, a normal door right next to, like, the back bar. Yeah, <laughs> you could just walk straight through. But I was like, I ain't trying to go through there. I want to go through this little fucking. It's the mystique of it. Yeah, it was crazy. Were you the only one? A in little there? metro secret. Were you the only one? In there? there were like two girls sitting down. That's it. Yeah, I think it's just meant to be like a chill out spot that not many people know about. But I don't know if it's open all the time. Well, now thousands of people are going to know yeah. about it now that we've dropped this big it's hot Riley podcast source. New I'm hangout. Just, this is going to be on TikTok, and we'll bang, bang, we'll bang, see bang. you all in the fucking cool room. <laughs> yeah, legit. If you want to find me, find me there. <laughs> it's a great time. Yeah, that's wild. I and didn't it's know like, that. It's really quiet nice as well. You can genuinely like... Nice spot. People. Yeah. What music's on in there? Did you suss oh, that no, playlist? It's, it's the same. It's just like muffled because there's like a big... A big wall. Yeah, it's cool. But there's a bar and everything. Yeah. Only one bartender. She was the one who was keeping secrets about the WPSs. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys never seen it? No ones. But yeah, I've, I think I've been there. Uh, you've probably <laughs> been to Metro's more than I have. Yeah. Just oh, Riley probably has. Yeah, just in a fortnight. You never, Jake never goes out. Jake no. never hits the town. So if I want to have a chill, clubs have you been? If to? I want to have a chill, quiet night, I'm not going to metros to sneak in through like a which club a have lo- you been? A to? laundry door. Not many. It's not my vibe, man. I'm. It's not my. Have thing. you been to? You've been to the Lit. Newport. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't. Have you been to synagogue? Yeah, we went yeah. once. No, I've been. More, that's. I would have been there more. Yeah. And then in the city, too many times. Have you been to like, like three? I don't think you've ever been no, to the No, I don't the like court. the city. The city's shit, man. Yeah, oh, I've, no, I've been to the city. I've been to court a few Jake's, times, but J- I don't like it. Jake's mates seem like they... They are, but I'm not. Jake's oh, not. really? Yeah. I don't Party pooper. Them. No. But you love a party. You love a house party. Yeah, house parties go off. House parties a little bit. But I yeah, don't you like never the go, whole... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's just not Yeah, I go to the bury. I can't wait. Yeah, till I like a pub. I like a pub that yeah. you can sit back, you can watch the footy, you can have a bet, you can play some pool. I don't like going out because you can't social. I like socializing, and you can't do it when all the loud music's on and everyone's just like Jake's so on old. A bit. I love it. I, but I've always been like that. Yeah, like, an old man. Yeah. It's just fun feeling the music. Just mm, this vibe. Yeah. I would prefer to go play golf for like nine days straight than go to a club for club. an evening. You're crazy man. Yeah, clubs are shit. Anyway, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just a bit. 
I don't. I've I never. I can definitely understand why people hate them. You go. I don't hate. I just would never. You got to be with the right crowd. Yeah. But even still, it's just a bit of a. Like every time I've gone, I've been with like twenty of my mates, which is like sick. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere you look, it's just. When lads, you start, lads, you got to start coming into the city, and I can meet you after work. Oh. You get some real shitholes in the city. Hell yeah. <laughs> you will show you where all the wet. Anyway, <laughs> 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 we're calling cool it there. None of that. All right, boys. We're back. All right, Jake. We got ourselves a poll. Hell yeah! What are we What are we asking? What are the people What are the people thinking? What Safe to say, it's getting cold in Perth at the moment. It is. It's been a bit chilly in the last couple it of weeks. Rain, rain yeah. tonight. Winter is here. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen that show, but I I know that's <laughs> I'm aware. A, it's a line. It's a thing that they say. Boys, we asked the punters, the Mac Pack punters. Do you prefer wearing hoodies? What do you prefer wearing sweaters? What do they prefer? 74% of people like wearing hoodies. Hoodies. Well, 26. That's a that's a bit of a landslide. 26 preferred the sweater vests. That's a bit of a landslide. I thought it'd be closer. So did I. Especially because they're not that different. Wait, what did you say again? <laughs> 76 hood. 24. I'm oh, sorry, 74 hood. I expected that. You're Some a, sweaters are cool. Are you a hoodie guy? I'm a hoodie guy. You're a hoodie guy? Uh, I think a nice sweater is better than... No sweater at all. Than a, like a typical hoodie. Hoodies are very like, I'm a shiv your mum sort of, <laughs> sort of vibe in my opinion. <laughs> They're just a bit rougher. <laughs> You're just a bit. If you walked nah, up, you couldn't shiv rock up mom. to like a corporate lunch wearing a hoodie. Well, that's because I wear a, I wear a hoodie to work. Um, what? Yeah, I wear my I wear hoodies to work sometimes. Bougie. And but that's the thing. Is that time, before or after you shiv everyone's mum? <laughs> One time I went Go to shiv your mama. <laughs> <laughs> write, that, write that down <laughs> when we do an Eshe theme episode. Go shiv your mama hug. Um, yeah, so like I went. This is when I just sort of started. It was the first winter of me having a, you know, a big time corporate job. Big no, um, good. Congrats. Not many, not many big time corporate jobs where you can wear a hoodie. Wear a hoodie. Oh, people wear a hoodie. One team has custom made hoodies that have the. Name of their team on the back, which is oh, that's it. the envy of the entire office. <laughs> that's very cool. How do you how do you join that? I could try. Get a trade. I could try. Yeah. Yeah. I like your guys' hoodies. So come I, up, I, I your team. It gets cold in the office, so I always wear my. I always wear a jumper or a hoodie in there. Even like it's one of those places where, like, sometimes even in summer, you need a jumper inside. Wow, which is good, I think. Works in Antarctica. Nah, because then you have to bring a hoodie to work. Yeah, and it's 40 degrees. And then it's like and you're, you're that guy. Yeah, home. but you leave it in your locker. The lockers? <laughs> what the fuck is this job? Yeah. Do you yeah. play college basketball? It's in, a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in an office and you have a locker. Yeah. Why do you need a locker? So you can leave shit in there. I don't know. It's what, like when well, I guess you guys, everyone has a locker. Well, you don't have yeah. How many staff members do you have? Oh, like 500. And all of them have a locker. Yeah. Is yours branded? Like how many? Yeah. You, do you, like, like, like at Collingwood, when you've played 100 games, you get yeah. like a personalized number. They're all scale based on uh, the amount of people get paid. Actually. Oh, are they? No, they're all exactly the oh, same. I love you. Although, so I work on level 14. Good stuff. Do Shout like, out to the boys on level 14. Yep. 14. Whoop, whoop. 13. Oh, actually. And girls. Yeah, and girls. 14. It's either East or West. I always get it confused. But on one of them. And yeah. You guys, yeah, big shout. I hope you guys don't. <laughs> Did you say you're not on level 14? No, we're on 14. Oh. It's either East or West. I forget which one. Never eat. Big, big shout out. <laughs> Never eat. Never eat. Big Olympics. shout out to the level 14 going. Anyway. Joe's got to learn it. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, my locker. <laughs> my locker is on level 13. That makes no sense. Yeah. Such a pain. It's because the 14 ones are all taken. Oh. <laughs> so you're, po- you're not even like a priority on your floor. That's a shocker. Take 13 that. has empty <laughs> slots. Because no one's office is 13 13 is like the chill zone Oh yeah. Most places don't have a 13th floor It's bad luck It's not labelled <laughs> Like my <laughs> cinema goes up to A lot more than your cinemas And we don't have a 13th cinema Oh 12, 14 Oh 11, An extreme 14. Do you have an extreme That's yeah, giving yeah, away yeah. the corporate side <laughs> <stuff? laughs> uh, We've got a few of the biggest cinemas Yeah <laughs> At the You don't have 13 Ace Arena <laughs> Do you have a grand ace yeah. a big screen? Do you guys have events there? <laughs> We're I just know. saying all of them. Except for the one. <laughs> Play on. Yeah, anyway, but one, th- <laughs> one thing that, that annoys me is yeah. in summer, the aircon's on. But then in winter, the aircon's not on as strong because it's already cold. 
So you get in and it's like kind of warm. So you need to take your jumper off. <laughs> oh, so it's warmer in... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like almost hotter inside. Yeah. Is there a heater on? Nah, it's not a heater. It's just like the air con takes a while to get going. It's less cool. Fair enough. So I... Anyway... I'm in my core patrol. Yeah. I wear a hoodie. This story better be fucking I wear good. a hoodie. Well, <laughs> <laughs> get ready. <laughs> Is there a point to this story? And then so we're going to a big client meeting, right? Hell a big yeah. meeting. There's like the bosses going, some of the managers, you know, it's, gang, it's gang, a big gang, deal. Go. And Joey. And then so I'm, we're like, <laughs> we're like 13. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe the 14th floor. Right. All right. We're heading to the meeting. And then I go and I've got my bag. And then um, one of the girls on the team, she's like, where's your, like, you're not cold. Do you not have a job? I'm like, oh. I don't have like a grown up jacket to wear. I just have a hoodie. What hoodie is it? Like a Rugrats themed hoodie? No, it was a it was the Frank Ocean like World Net one. So it's like it's nice, but it's still a hoodie. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why that's why you need like a, a cardigan or a sweater. That's the cardigan. The cardigan. Y- you Who read can? my mind. The cardigan. Cardigan. Cardigans are hard to style. They're very thin. That's the thing. Then you don't get the you're too hot in the office problem. Yeah, yeah but, but you, can also, get some you can get some thick knit cardies. What are you wearing with? You can't wear them with anything. A suit and tie. Well, you can. Oh, I guess the D- Dwayne the Rock Johnson does pull off. <laughs> does does he wear a cardi? I in like if not like probably in like Central Intelligence or something like. <laughs> his arms are just <laughs> ripping through. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I would look like. You're wearing a cardi wall. like that. That's all right. <laughs> if you're wearing a baggy cardi, <laughs> what's the point? I think. I think sweaters are definitely in now, especially because there's so much more like vintage yeah, sweaterage going yeah, on. Yeah, I was going to say that. Not a lot of vintage like hoodies. hoodies. Oh, there are a few. Yeah, I've got a few. Okay. My disregard my statement. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm a, uh, I used to be a hoodie guy. Hoodies are very much like got my beers, got my pack of smokes, yeah. got my hat shiv. and then <laughs> got my shiv yeah, and then like you du- and I'm happy to wear a hoodie and then just duck the, the hoodie into my, my hat. Yeah, yeah. It's like you've got your bandana on. You're going to rob Seven <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, then you chuck your hood on. But sweaters are a little bit more corporate, a little bit more... Fancy. You can wear them out. You could wear it out to dinner and not look like you're yeah. going to shiv yeah. the person you're with. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, thing- is the key to 2021. Hoodie? Do you guys use the hood? Yeah, heaps. Sometimes. Hoodies not also often. have that cool little pocket cool. thing at the front. The kangaroo sweaters pouch. don't have the kangaroo pouch. That'd yeah, I know. I also yeah. need. I like wearing a jacket because you have like, you can put your hands in. The, the only thing. jacket I wear is like a, a North Face raincoat jacket. Yeah, yeah I got one like that cool. recently. North Face have heaps of pockets. Like it's you've good, got, hey. you've got like double. Po- I've the North Face pockets are so deep in one of my jackets that I can fit and have fit like four or five beers. Actually, in each pocket. Yeah, sick for smuggling stuff. Can and you even- get? Can you get shivs in? Shivs. <laughs> 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 Boys, we're super excited to announce it's back. That was it the first game that we ever played? It was the first game of the new season. The new season. Season two, first game. It's called Oh hi Mark. And it's back. Yeah. It's back, and we have a very exciting new sting for it. They're kind of our new thing. Riley, I'm gonna go the high the high falsetto on this one. Ooh. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. We need to guess your hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Based on some of Joe's clues. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. It's a game between us. Who knows who will win? What song is that, Jack? Um... Yeah, what is it? Oh, hey <laughs> now! If you would more recognize the, it, the dream hey is over, now. or hey now. I'm not sure. We recorded it a little bit earlier today. I came, I but came I, in, and so I knew that we were doing Oh Hi Mark, obviously. But you didn't and know about then the sting. Jake just goes, "Listen to this," and then like the first <laughs> thing goes, and I go, "Oh, I know exactly where this is going. Yeah. It's just too perfect. It's it's a good chin, and we've just made it a fuck time better. It's good. All right, <laughs> now Who's let's get ready into. To play? Oh Hi Mark. Let's play this bitch. All right, so we've got three marks we're playing with today. So the game, the game, just quickly, for those, for, those for, new, for those new punters listening along at home. What do you call the, the game is Oh Hi Mark. Oh Hi Mark. Now, basically, the game, Joe provides us with three different marks. You've got so many marks in the world, so many marks in the world, and he'll basically just provide us a little anecdote, a little stat, a little, a little tale, a little story. A little quote. 
And me. Well, this was more just general trivia, but yeah. And me and oh. Junior Boy fight it out to work out if we can work out which mark it is. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Joe, who are our marks All right, today? So the theme for this mark. I don't think we get to find out who. Yeah, we know the three, and then we have oh, to do just we know categorize. The three? Yeah, yeah, come on. It's been a while, but come on. Come go. on. So the theme of this is um, movie marks. Movie marks. Movie so mark. we've got Mark movie Ruffalo. Oh, classic. Do you guys all know who he is? Thor. He, he, I mean, he plays fuck. Hulk. The Hulk. Oh, yep. yep. The Captain Incredible Amer- Hulk. Captain America. <laughs> and then we've got Mark Wahlberg. The only one returning from the original cast. King. Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark, you can't, yeah. you can't play without the Marky Mark. He, he plays Daddy and in Daddy's the, Home too. The he last does. Mark. <laughs> plays Daddy. The last Mark, we've got Vin Diesel. Whose actual name is Mark Sinclair. No what? Bit of a fun Way. fact. <laughs> Ladies, that's yeah, a bombshell. You've got to tell us when you're going to drop a bombshell. We don't go for the obvious marks. Jesus. We go for the deep cut marks. Vin Diesel's name's... Mark Vin Sinclair. I should have oh. expected that. Who like, the fuck is then? So Vin it turns out Diesel. his name, yeah, Vin Diesel. Did you know that prior to tonight? No, I googled famous marks. Sweet Jesus, and it said Vin Diesel, and <laughs> I was like, you know what? No way. This just got interesting. Hit pause. Call your mum. Let her know right now. You've learned something today, guys. It's Friday. You've learned something. Give her a hug. All right. So, what, who are our marks? Let's let's run it back. I just want to make sure you guys are Ruffalo, on top of your marks. Ruffalo, Warburg, Vin Diesel. Of course, Vin Diesel. <laughs> Okay, the first question. Well, hi, We've got Jesus. six questions in total. We're going to have to change this thing. <laughs> oh, well, hi, Vin. <laughs> okay. So, the first question we got. Out of the three marks, yep. who's been in the most Marvel movies? I'm in, Jake. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was a race. What, we're just going to hand you the game. Um, Vin Diesel. It's got to be the first guy, Ruffalo. Ruffalo? Has to be. No way. Marvel films. Marvel films. It's too obvious. Yeah, has, right, to so has to be. Has to be. Has who, to be. Who, is, who does Mark Ruffalo play? The, the Hulk. Yeah. Who does Mark Wahlberg play? The, the no one. The no one. And who does Vin Diesel play? <gasps> no. Riley, Riley. Vin Diesel. He plays Groot. Groot. No way. Joey so let's see. The 180. Let's Hulk. see. We've got the Hulk appears in Age of Ultron. Yeah, Avengers. I don't know any. Yeah, these are both Avengers movies. Endgame. Yeah, and Infinity War. Does the Incredible Hulk not have his own? He doesn't have his own movie. Not with him. It's with Ed Norton. Oh. Vin Diesel. I don't know who any of is in for. Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy Two, Infinity War, and Endgame. So but it's for each. The Hulk also appears in Thor Ragnarok. So oh, he was right. Yeah. He was right. <laughs> Almost got us with the one eighty there. Giddy I up. totally forgot about Vin Diesel playing. Playing, yeah, 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 Correct. me too. Very exciting. Oh, All right. hi, Mark. Next question. Yep. Out of the three actors, who has the highest net worth? Riley. Vin Motherflip and Diesel, dude. Those Fast and Furious Do movies. I get a ping? Do yeah, I you get a guess as well. Do we get to find out if he was right or not? No. It doesn't matter. Um, nah, Mark Wahlberg, man. Okay. Dude, Mark Wahlberg's in so much shit. And he's the, he's the executive. Fast and Furious. But he's the executive producer There's nine of, stuff. of them. He's the executive producer of like TV shows. Uh, still a much. fun fact, in Guardians of the Galaxy. I bet. Do you know who got paid the most out of all the actors? Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. What Ta-ching. the fuck? Yeah. And, that's why, and that's why he's worth 20, uh, $225 million. That seems like a lot. That's compared to Mark Wahlberg's, one of them? Mark Wahlberg's $45 million <laughs> And Mark Ruffalo's. He's a humble twenty five. And so it's Riley, collects, Riley collects so Riley number gets, two. Riley gets Congratulations, that. Riley boy. It's a draw. Third one. All right. Oh, hi, Mark. So this one. Here we go. Who is the oldest? Riley. Jake. Oh, yeah, Riley going first. Wahlberg. J- Jake. Yeah. Ruffalo. The, you're going to think it's Vin Diesel. I was going to say Because he's got that shiny head polish, but... All right. You know, Diesel's probably the youngest. Going bald isn't just an old man's game. <laughs> so, Mark Warburg is 49. Congrats. Vin Diesel is 53. Bang. Okay. And Mark Ruffalo oh, he way is, is 53. Oh, so that's me. He's so old. And he pissed Are we going to a Hulk? date? Are we going to a date? You're telling me a 53 year old man oh, yeah. is the Incredible Hulk. We're going to a date. Yeah, we're locking it down. Okay, so they're both born in 1967. Yeah. Yeah. If either of you can guess... Oh, what? The month. Either of the months. Wow, that's a long shot. 
All right. Who's just, just, how about, just tell how us about who's we both? How about we both say a date and whoever's closest wins? How about you just tell us who's older? Vin Diesel is the oldest. Okay. So neither of us won. But now who? So neither of us won. Neither of you won. We move on. Whoever we move said, on. We move on. Next question. So kind of. So Vin Diesel was born in July and Mark Ruffalo was born in November. So those guys are born in the same year. This is a interesting fact that also plays into one later on. Ooh. He said. It's Wait, how many of these do we have? We've got three more. Shit. Who has best got of six? Judging <laughs> one of those yeah. best of six tournaments. I mean, we're going to need it for this one. Well, no, one he got, knew. no one got the Vin Diesel one. That's a good point. <laughs> best of six. Who has the most Academy Award nominations? Riley, Hang on, you Riley, 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 Riley. Diesel. Jake, would you like to have a guess? Yeah, before you do the thing, we have to press the oh hi mark. That's our reset button. <laughs> okay, and you it. just jumped across. <laughs> Hit the button. It's too late now. What was the question, sir? Who has the most Academy Award nominations? <coughs> Riley said Diesel. I'm going to have to go... I'm going to go Warburg. Warburger. You guys are really understanding the rough. So, rough has got three. We what movies? Um, Foxcatcher. What the fuck? Spotlight. And another oh, one I'd never oh, heard oh, of. Spotlight. Yeah. Moonlight. And then oh, Spotlight, yeah. Mark Warburg has two. He plays two. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg has two. Diesel's got none. So that was Daddy's Home and Daddy's Home too. <laughs> and then Vin Diesel's got none. <laughs> yeah, Vin Diesel's got nine for all of the fantastic, all Fast and Furious. Sheesh. Yeah, so yeah, Ruffalo's got the most there. So we got neither of those right either. Yeah, neither. So now it's the best of four. This is good. All right. The next one is... <laughs> really Wait! Did you not learn? Oh, yeah. Well, hi, Mark. We haven't now had that green tick in a while. Now you what can speak. Even... <laughs> now you can speak. Okay. Which two? I reckon winner winner gets this. Whoever gets this wins. This one. Yeah, because we can't we can't get this and then go to the next one. And no, like, oh, it's sick. We got this it. one was going to be worth two points for some reason. I wrote that down. <laughs> this is it. This is for the win. This is for the All win. Right. All right, who's hang on. the tallest? <laughs> Riley. Jake. Jake. Ru- I said oh, it twice. That's the yeah, fucking rule. That's twice. the rule in the McKenna household. Well, someone's going to line up the fucking decibels of our mics right now. Who is the tallest? Tallest. I know. You're going to think it's... I reckon Mark, Mark Wahlberg's a pretty small dude. But the other two are like 50, middle, middle age 50 men. So I'm going to say... I'm going to say Vin Diesel. Is the tallest? Ah, fuck. And you're going to be correct. Yeah! Oh, Vin Diesel is 182 centimetres. Metres. Yeah, but are we taking into account when Mark, Mark Ruffalo turns into the Incredible Hulk? <laughs> yeah, but, that man is huge. But a fun fact. Mark, said, how many times has he said we've got an interesting stat? We've got a fun fact. He's Mark to, Ruffalo and Mark Warburg are the exact same height. Plot twist. Oh, my God. 173 this is un- centimetres. This they is both unbelievable. Lose. Can you believe that? I don't mm-hmm. know if Joe's just trying to make a case for his um, new game by continually saying, got a fun fact, got These an interesting fun. fact. This These is, were yeah, fun. Remember I, when I said, I enjoyed which mark and it was Vin Diesel? No one saw that coming. That was a <laughs> <Yeah>. mind boggler. <laughs> yeah. That was a mind boggler. You're one of a kind. Oh, well, hi, Mark. We'll 100% be back in the future. Are we doing the stinger again? As will this. Oh, oh hi, hi, Mark. Mark. Hi, Mark. We don't need to guess your hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Based on some of Joe's clues. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. It's a game between us. Who knows who will win? It could also be Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Invent that. <laughs> Boys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for hosting Joey Boy. We'll see you all next week on Oh Hi Mark. So after a long, hard day of work in the new container job that I've got. Oh, yeah. You just hanging around with that? You keeping it? For, for now, I am. <laughs> there's, nothing, <laughs> there's nothing I want more. Then a tasty old Zinger box. Ooh. Have you guys ever had a Zinger box? You've never been into the Zinger boxes. I do get... I, don't, I, I know what they... What are they? They're basically What's just a there? Zinger burger, a burger, potato and gravy, potato and gravy, a chips, chips, three wicked wings, and a drink. And what is oh, that? you don't Ten? get a piece of like original... What do you call it? It's hot and spicy. You can chicken. get an ultimate box with one original... Like a, You can get a okay. breast. And what is that? Yeah, the other one's better. Wicked uh, wings it's better. Like 11 dollars oh, It's not bad. Yeah, it's a big feed. Right. For like, it like fills you up perfectly. Mm. If you're like, if you're hungry, it'll fill you up perfectly. Yeah. yeah. And there's nothing you want more after like a big nine-hour shift of just lifting these heavy fucking boxes <laughs> on pallets, 
since 6 a.m. Right? Nothing you want more. But I'm thinking I might have to start changing up my KFC. Oh, no. Because Why there's that? one around the corner from our house. It's, it's classic. It's not even around the corner. It's a straight line. Legit. So it's like beautiful. It's beautiful position on the place. way home. Beautiful. It doesn't take you out. It's just like, oh, may as well pop in. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Go hang out with the boys. Well, I'll tell you why not. Every time I start pulling into the driveway... <laughs> My heart starts bumping a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's the secret herbs. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kernel I always speaking to you in tones, in spirits. I always get a little bit nervous. And what makes you nervous <laughs> about going to Kentucky? Well, I feel like the staff there, <laughs> there isn't many of them. Yeah. Or the days that I work, it's always the same, the same roughly guys. the same people. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with going to KFC because... Look, so I pull up in the driveway, right? Here we go. And I say, yeah, I'll get a thing in box. I'll change the gravy for another chips. Put Throw some extra salt. Oh, is that salt. what you do? Yeah. Gravy's good, man. Gravy's nah. better than chips. Nah, nah. And does that cost extra? No, nah, free. And you go, <laughs> I'll throw some extra salt on it and I'll get an orange juice on the side. Classic. That's a orange psychopath's juice. Orange juice, juice, apple juice. Psychopath. Beautiful. Beautiful. You get an orange Weird. juice yeah. with your... Like a sun kissed. No, 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 no. He gets like an OJ. No, OJ. Like a freshly squeezed, thanks, Wendy. Um, and then you pull around to the window where you pay it. It's always, it's always awkward because I know, I always see you. I always see the people who are serving me and it's like, this person <laughs> thinks that I come here every <laughs> single time they're on work, they're on shift. Because they probably only work two, three times a week. Yeah, and you're but there. if I'm there, well, I've probably <laughs> two, three times a week, but you know how it seems when it's like you go to one place every week and you always see them. So it's like yeah. this person's always they must have here. To be here all the time. In my perception, this person is always here when I'm here. Yeah. This person gets KFC <laughs> all the time. And even if I miss a week or two and I pull up, they're like, I recognize this bloke. Yeah, they know who you are now. And especially when it's like sometimes I'm not in the high vis, I'm like in a different thing and I see him again and they're just like, it's you sad <laughs> little man. <laughs> do, you re- do you remember <laughs> during the. Would have been the Maccas, like, what is it, the November deals that they do? A classic. It's approaching again. We, if, oh <laughs> man, <laughs> it's getting there. It feels like it. We is. used to, we used to go there every, I think we did a thing last year. We tried to get there every day. Every day. Yeah, we tried to do it. This this year we'll do it. Oh. This year we'll set the challenge. We'll make it a Mac pack challenge. We'll go to Maccas. Mac every, pack Maccas challenge. Every day in November. We, we tried to do it last year. Until we got to about like day 10, 12. When they start doing the milkshakes, that's when it gets a bit odd. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants the mil- <laughs> two milkshakes. $2 milkshakes. Oh God, yeah, they're $2 terrible. for a reason. <laughs> exactly. Not good. But we used to always see the same... Same bloke. Yeah. Legend. He's a lovely guy. We yeah. know him. We know his name. I think we... Probably can't shout him out there. No, Just say won't. a similarly themed name. Riley. No, that's... Um, <laughs> You, there's nothing like it. It's, yeah. a, it's a unique, unique name. name. It's a cool name. And he's it's a, a sick name. And he's just always there. He's always smiling. He's always having a good time. And there's one time back before, I think it was just before the November shit. Like this is at Livingston. Still going a fair frequent yeah. um, like amount of times. I was in the car with Joe and Joe was ordering something. And then he looked through the window and I saw it as we were approaching. He saw me and then was like... Oh, and said to his mate, that guy's always here. <laughs> He's always here. <laughs> and then he like, I like looked down and like waved at him. <laughs> you and then we proceeded to see him every day for the next month. Uh, Basically, yeah, he was like pen pal. I asked him point. his name once. Like I was just like, oh, like we come here. Like me and my brother come here a fair bit. <laughs> and, he, and he just like looked at me and went, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Funny, yeah. We're basically paying his paycheck that whole month. Yeah, he was like, this guy, he was like, I always see this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking loser. Yeah, he probably thinks we're like that's the thing with working like drive through. Like, I could just be going there to get the food, but to you it seems like this guy's probably stalking me. Sometimes why is he always here? Sometimes I do think like if I'm going up and then I'm like, it's the worst is when like if I'm going to get something and then like you get chips for a couple of people and it's like I don't need six chips. They're not for me. They just want some chips. Yeah. Because it's like, if you get extra burgers... Don't act like you've ever bought us chips, though. Yeah. That's what that's hey, sounding like. That's transfer. Well, if I, get, if I get him a cheese... Another thing is when I go up there and I get my, like... <laughs> Your <laughs> vegan, vegan burger. burger. <laughs> and then a cheesy cheeseburger. <laughs> a double a quarter fucking, Yeah. They're like, you're not fighting the good fight, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're just being not fooling anyone. <laughs> what's, your, what's your go-to when you go to Hungry Jack's? 
Hungry Jack. I've told this before on the potty. If you know it, say it with me. A cheesy cheesy cheeseburger, cheeseburger and, and two small chips. Chip. What about when you go to Macca's? I actually don't really go to Macca's that much. I only get what's like on the app because that actually is taxing. The, that is expensive. Yeah, the app is good. I wouldn't go to Macca's unless it was the app. I'll give you a secret tip. All right. This is a good one. This is a good Ladies one. Ladies and gentlemen, we've, um, used this, we've used this for a few years. Yeah, I've, actually, we, I've we told love, a few friends about this one. We love a bit of fast food at this place. <laughs> go, to the, go to your Macca's app. Do it right now. You can listen to the podcast and do it right now. If you're on TikTok, wait a second. Basically, you go to Macca's. Yep. You go down. You click the classics menu. Oh. You click your burgers. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yep. now, now you're going to go and pick the double beef and bacon burger. Oh. I think by itself, it's like five bucks. Chuck that thing in a small meal. You get a small chips, you get a small drink, it's four ninety five. No way. Fucking do it oh now. Oh my God. Do it, it now. Is it still? 100% man. It's that been like that, s- so it's been that for so long. It's been like that for so long. Double cheese and bacon. Double oh. cheese and bacon. Double beef and bacon. Double beef and, bacon. Double beef and cheese and bacon. That is. Whatever that fucking meal so that is. Mean no way. Five bucks. Four ninety five. man. I think I tried looking for that one time. Maybe, I, maybe it's I there. It's the always place. it's been there for years. Maybe I was you can't for a if normal. you if you roll up and try and order it. No, you get flat. A small cheeseburger, a small double beef burger meal will get you like nine bucks. Really? But if you put it through on the app, it's a little Easter egg. Tell them J Max sent you. Tell them the Mac pack. That's like when you used to yeah. if you would go and you could get like a large meal, right? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, can I make that drink a frozen Coke? Yeah. It would cost more. Yeah. It's cheaper just to get another. Yeah. That way they put the upgrade fee. Yeah. It's more expensive. It's taxing. That's bloody crazy. bloody Ronald. Do you know what's do you know what's bad? The KFC secret menu. Have you tried it? Yeah, not app. flash. If you scr- yeah, if you go so on the KFC bad. app, what's on there? We're real professionals at this. Yeah. If you go like to the KFC a- app and you hot, you pull the thing down. Oh, I've done. Pull down the menu. Gonna have that vegan. Thing. The kernel pops up and then it's like a secret menu. So it, bad. It used to be good. It doesn't change. It's literally the same. Yeah, it used to be good. I've got it's once. Not good now. I got a. It was like a supercharged three stacker burger with three bits of chicken meat. That's, that's too much. So well, that's the thing. I was like, this is bad, but it actually might be like decent. You know, looks- and they cost like thirteen bucks or something. Yeah, eat it with a really knife expensive. and fork, or did you just? Double I took a bite it. and I was like, this is bad. I threw it out. I couldn't eat it. That's not. And they have like a like the HSP, but it's just like chips and popcorn chicken in a bucket with like a tiny bit of like sauce that they yeah. scooped out of the little dipping. Yeah, yeah. not flash, not flash at all. That's weak. Come on, KFC. <laughs> Do Come. better. You can't have a zinger box and a great menu. What would the colonial say? What would the colonial <laughs> say? <laughs> All right, boys, we're nearly at the end of episode 34. But before we finish things up this week, we're going to go an award, an award that we've awarded for the last 34 weeks. <laughs> it's our. <laughs> Everyday hero. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you got to do to be an everyday hero is basically just commit yourself to doing something nice for someone else. That's it. Oh, that sounds fucking That's a perfect way to explain it, Jake. (laughs) You can be nice, you can be kind, you can be sweet. This one is... You just got to improve someone else's life. Here we go. This one's crazy. This one is... I guess this is one of the most out-of-the-box everyday heroes I've ever seen. This one's belated. This one is like... It could have been done weeks ago. If this was the first one... Everyone would be like, what the fuck is this award? <laughs> but coming what is in, the criteria? Coming in, coming in now, it's like the an amalgamation time. of so many. Well, not really, but it takes, you know, it takes the good the good heart exactly. of what an everyday hero is. I can't it wait to meet this man as well. It. You've never met him before? Nah. I've met him a couple of times. I've heard so many good stories and I know that I'm going to see him this weekend, which is super duper so, exciting. We're, fla- we're flashing back, we're going back to the infamous cowboy night. Riley's first night at Metro. Riley's first night at Metro. It's what a night to be alive. The big house and the big hero. So I'm standing there. I'm on the D floor. I'm, you know, stone cold sober with all of Riley's friends who are hammered. Cheer, boy. And I'm dressed as a cowboy, as we established Cheer weeks ago. boy. So I'm just standing there. <laughs> I was like, you guys were all like vibing out really hard. And I like wasn't really feeling it yep. at that point. No. So I was just sort of, you know, a bit off to the side. I was like, yeah, whatever. They're, you know, having fun or whatever. And then I was like, I'll just, you know, I didn't want to be in like the middle of this like... You little... sound like a dad at this point. I, fresh borderline, I borderline was. Anyway, and then I look across the... Um, I look across the D floor and I lock eyes with someone. And it's one of those things where we've only met a couple times. So I wasn't 100% sure if it was him. It was one of my mates. Yeah, it was one of Riley's mates. Are we saying his name? He was coming belated. Stephen Omadumbi. Stephen. That's a sick surname. Saw him. That oh. is one of the best surnames. We locked eyes and we was like, he was like, oh, and I was like, oh. <laughs> and then like, he like made his way through uh, the, he, through the, the D floor. My life. 
<laughs> he made a um, uh, what do you call it? A fashionably late appearance to Metro's because he was at the Arbor with all his mates, and then he was King. like, "Got to come down from a McKenna's." Because he came time. for you. Yeah, yeah. But and so he's found me. I've like. By the end, I, he was like there, and I like had to like pull him across, and I was like, "Yeah, like Riley and his mates are there, let's go in." So we go in, and he sees he sees you and all your mates, and yeah, it was a big wild. You know, it was a nice moment. Even that in itself is is nice, but that wasn't the best thing he did that evening. Coming to Metro's is is nice. <laughs> so later on, we're all in, we're all dancing. You yep. know, we're hitting the D floor, yep. and then one of Riley's friends is. We'll give him a name drop, Big Ed. Big Ed. Big Ed, listen to the pod. He's had his voice featured on the potty before. Oh. King. Big Ed knocked his glasses got knocked off. Oh, yeah. and they're on the floor. Shit, someone get this them. Someone get them. In, Don't stand on the glasses. Don't stand on the glasses. We're front middle on his the frames. D floor. Yeah, and his frames are on the floor. He's doing a Velma we're from, <laughs> from Scooby Doo. He's like, Still and we're all Velma. bopping off. Yeah, and everyone else is having a great time. And then, <laughs> but then as we saw him hit the floor, everyone goes. <gasps> Everyone spreads their arms looking for it on yeah. this dance floor because anything could happen to these. There glasses. are people getting their phones up, flashlights on. Yeah, everyone's frantically looking for these frames. For these frames, and the Riley's mates have been pretty boisterous for the whole night. Yeah, boy, not having much regard for the other, other people there <laughs> until uh, the frames hit the but deck. The frames hit the deck. That's where we draw the line, folks. And everyone's like, "No, this is this is this is the most important." One thing. of the boys is in need. Yeah. <laughs> Velma needs her glasses. Exactly. Stop calling him Velma. <laughs> <laughs> so then. So it was a bit of a moment of chaos. Everyone, all of the Corpus people were like looking at the and it floor. Felt, it felt like all at the same time. We all spotted them. Yeah. At the exact same time. And they were a bit off sort of like left of center to the group. Yeah. And then Ed like managed to pick them up. But because everyone had formed this little circle, right? Nice. I know. I can see where this is going. Ed was going down to pick them up is what you mean. Yeah. Ed was going down to pick them up. He picked him up. A bit of a diversion where all the attention of this circle was pointed there. And then, out of nowhere, out there's of just nowhere. like a flash. And no. someone, someone's hit the floor. <gasps> someone Bang. else. Are they okay? Someone else has entered the circle. And Are they hit okay? the floor. Oh, my God. There's a bit of a... <gasps> and then everyone sees what it is. And it's Steven. <gasps> Steven on the doombie. Steven's on the floor. Steven. Get him off the floor. What was but he doing? Someone, 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 help, someone help that man. Someone knocked it was him the out the most behind. Victorious someone shivved him from behind. I've ever... Well, it is Metro, so you never know. <laughs> exactly. So he hits the floor, <gasps> and everyone kind of goes, <gasps> and then they realize what he's done. So he's gone in. The opportunist. He's gone in, right foot forward, <laughs> left foot back, and the, the fucker's done the split. His in testes the middle were of on the circle. The floor. <laughs> testes touching the Metro's floor. He's just gone like, <laughs> oh, there's like a massive... Circle. There's a circle there's for me. Circle. Ed is on the floor in the side of the circle, and, and he's, he's gone, oh, yeah. Split zone, I guess. <laughs> Did everyone no get around him? Yeah, he just split in. Did the there was like a second where like everyone was just kind of like pure panic. But like, what? And then everyone just like went nuds. I That's so no no funny. Funniest part about it. I had zero recollection of this happening until Joe retold me the story, and I was going crazy hearing it again. And then I remember when it happened because I remember screaming, literally, yeah, like, you, you high went, girl no. screaming. Nice. Set the tone. What a man. And but why like, is he? Why is that heroic, Joe? Why? So the reason why it's heroic because it's a sick story, but it's like he's just seen an opportunity where he's an opportunist. It, this is why it's it's a little bit different from the other, every other hero's because he definitely got a lot out of <laughs> doing this place. <laughs> yeah, fucking no. But. You know, he's just seen a moment. It was and a no moment. One knew. Of that was the first time I've been friends with him for like four years. Did not know he could do the splits. It was a <laughs> it was a moment of panic where everyone was sort of panicked. But more than that, all the attention was on Ed. Ed was stressed, right? True. Yeah. As soon as Steven hits the floor, tension's gone from Ed. Ed's shift, able to get up. It. He's shift able the focus. To, he's able to fix his glasses. And then like the momentum of the night has sort of changed when it's like, all right, this is this, is, a this is about glasses now. This and then it went back to being about fun. Exactly. He, he restored he, the fun equilibrium. So yeah. this week... Because I gave Metro's a 10. And the club is not a 10. But the feelings I felt that night from stuff like <laughs> Steven's splits made me feel like it was a 10. So this week, Mr. Steven... Steven Omadumbi. Is our everyday hero because King. he basically took an opportunity. There was a small, there was a small scary in the, in the schedule where he could get involved. He could improve everybody's evening. He could. And he could take away some of the attention from someone who's probably a little bit embarrassed at the time. Yeah. In oh Edmund. Boy, didn't he do it? And that's why this week, Mr. Stephen Ubadumbi. No, Stephen Ubadumbi. I think I was pretty close. Is this week's <laughs> Everyday Hero. 
Boys, we'll wrap up episode 34 nice and quick sharp by quickly just stating that Miss Cody Ritchie, that's right, Miss Cody. Cody Ritchie will be joining us this week, uh, next week on the Mac Pack podcast. If you have any questions, queries, or anything that you want to disc- her to discuss on the podcast, yep. be sure to hit our DMs. We'll share a little poll, little story thing that you can flash your own questions that you want us to ask. Even if you don't her, know her, next send week. her a message. Yeah. What's it like being a girl? What's it like <laughs> <laughs> What's it like being on the podcast? We want to know. <laughs> <laughs> but be sure to hit up our social pages to make sure that basically you, it's op- your opportunity. While she's on the podcast, it's your opportunity to dig in and get your own little feature like Stephen has. Exactly. Um, boys, it's been an absolute pleasure to sit next to the two that of you. It has been. Always it is. would be remiss of us to not mention that it is our uncle. Uncle Dave. Dave. Uncle Dave, who 100% he'll feature on the podcast at some stage we we'll just day. need to suss a bit of a timeline to sort all of that out but it is his 59th birthday on Tuesday, on Tuesday. which is, is tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow when we're recording but it's also three days back In when you're listening for the 43 minutes which is yeah, super true. <laughs> which is super exciting for all of us he's nearly 60 the big man he's nearly King, 60 hell yeah but he's as fit as a fiddle and he's running the mark and he's enjoying himself loving life on the TikTok yeah, he's on yeah, TikTok he's as on well. TikTok. We'll delve into that when he's on there. Yeah, yeah. He's, he maybe he wouldn't be the oldest user on TikTok, but he's he knows more about TikTok than I know about TikTok. He's showing me videos about TikTok that I don't Age know. Before he loves TikTok so much he's extending his Telstra plan because he used up all his internet. <laughs> now that's <laughs> the right. sort of subscriber that we want involved. Boys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Always is. We'll do it again this time next week, and we'll be joined. By one of the most beautiful guests we've ever had on the panel, Miss Aww. Cody Ritchie. But until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and always remember to... Yahoo, give you a mama hug. Ciao for now, but not forever. <laughs>